Hey guys, it's Dave from Curtis Crafts and today I'm going to be making a really low polygon model of a spray can like you'd see in Jet Set Radio Future. I'm going to try and get it the same dimensions as this and I'm going to be making it out of this EVA foam floor mat. I'm going to be using this clear cut grid to pull out my dimensions off this can and transfer them over onto some paper and make a pattern. I know the main part is going to be about 6 inches high and it's going to be an octagon, but other than that I'm going to make it up as I go, but I'll continue to measure so I look like I know what I'm doing. Since the whole can tapers at the bottom, the top of each wedge is going to be 1 inch while the bottom is half an inch. Once I mark my quarter inch of deviation on each of these, I'm going to cut every single one with a back bevel so that they only meet on the face. And all these parts I'm cutting out of a 10 millimeter thick floor mat, which I've cut 6 inches high and I lay my pattern out 8 times over the top of it. I'm using my cutting grid to cut a back bevel into each of these pieces. I mentioned before this is one of my favorite tools. That's probably a lie, but we're going to roll with it. The angle doesn't matter so much in the foam. As long as they all have one, it'll work. And once they're all cut, I start gluing them together with some Gorilla Super Glue in the octagon. Once I have the sides glued and taped together to secure them, I cut the ends off flush. Then, trying to keep it as even as possible, I draw the lower pattern for the bottom of the spray can. Then I expand the dimensions of that out a quarter inch on each side, using my third favorite tool. I transfer the pattern to another piece of 10mm foam and cut out the base of the spray can. Then I get out the contact cement and using a foam brush apply it to the entire body of the spray can and a piece of 2mm foam. I'm going to use this foam to make a clean outer layer around the whole can. Then I apply contact cement to the bottom of the can and the base. Once the contact cement's dry I adhere the two pieces together because that's how I work. I lay out a few pieces of masking tape and then draw a rectangle using this tool I found in my garbage. Since this is going to be one of the blue five value cans from the game, I reference some in-game art and draw out the five by hand. Then I lay it over the foam and use an X-Acto knife to score out the design. I pattern the top of the can and transfer it over to two layers of 10mm foam that I've glued together. Once I finish my angled cuts with this clear ruler thing, I sand all the burrs off of the cuts. Then I glue the top onto the can. After that I make a half inch detail out of some 2mm foam and glue that around the rim of the top of the can. This helps hide the seam where the two parts meet. I use a 10mm foam dowel that I got from TNT Cosplay Supply and I wrap it in some 2mm foam till I achieve the desired thickness and then carve out the nozzle shape. Then I glue it down to the center of the can. I coat the entire can in clear Mod Podge. Then I layer it in some gray primer and mix up an electric blue color to spray on the body. After that I brush on multiple layers of silver and blue detail.
So that's basically it for this foam build. Got the original new hotness. I have another boombox to paint. That's it for this build. Pretty simple prop. I didn't actually paint a boombox this time because the last time I made a video about painting a boombox I almost went to jail for some reason. Also uh, that's not gonna stop me and I regularly do videos where I paint boxes like these that have now been ruined by me. So uh, thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe.